Hello everyone, my name is Yelsum, and welcome back to Regrowth. This is episode 34. The last time we uh, summoned a demon and killed him, just barely. So we got his heart sitting over there. I didn't summon another one. I used the villager egg that we had left over to create a hobgoblin egg. And I only managed to create enough terra steel for a pair of boots and two spare. Because that's a lot of mana. Didn't even think about that when I was creating, you know, just thinking about creating like 24 bars. Like, that's a lot. Today I want to create or make or however you want to say it, a magic broom, which will hopefully let us fly. I'm hoping because I've never made one before. It's done using this. It's a rite of infusion. It takes a seven and an 11 um, ritual circle and it also takes a broom and a flying ointment. Uh, to start off though, let's take a look here. So I made all these eggs. I got the sheep, the bat, the pig, the ocelot, the wolf and the hobgoblin. So that puts us, let's see, right here. So you can see we've got a decent amount of them done here. So I just, I wanted to uh, turn them all in when I was recording so you can kind of see the progress here. So we'll just spam this real quick. And I'll start working on the next batch in between again. And let's just do that. And then this stuff goes here. Okay, now the reason I've got this thing sitting here is you'll notice if you look here, it takes the broom and flying ointment. So if we go flying ointment, that takes a potion of swiftness, the eight minute version. So what I've done is I made a normal, uh, what's it called? Brewing stand. And I've got some awkward potions, just a bottle of water and some nether wort. And what we're going to do is we're also going to feed in sugar and then redstone. The sugar will give us the swiftness potion, and the redstone will kick it up to the eight-minute version, I hope. We'll see. We'll see if I read that diagram correctly. It's been ages since I've used one of these things. Yeah, it's cooking along pretty good. Now, in theory, when that one's done, the redstone should pop in there. I mean, ah, perfect. Okay. Now, okay, so we've got bat wool. We'll need a feather and lick up. And we'll need a diamond. But we're also going to need this redstone soup. This is the stuff that's going to get a little weird. We've got, I want to say we have at least one tongue of the dog, I really hope. We've got redstone. Oops, I had that open already. That's easy enough. In fact, let's just take a whole bunch of them. That, okay, drop of luck. Ugh. Okay, extremists, we've got Tear of the Goddess. I think we've got some of that. Ooh, the Refined Evil. Okay, so we're going to have to use up another one of our gas tears because I want to fly. And, okay, so Mandrake, Nether Wart. No, wait, Nether Wart's over here now. Mouse double clicks occasionally. Let's go check our stores and see what we've got over here. We should have. Oh. Oh, awesome. We've got a diamond. Okay, so. I think it was diamond and. Yep, okay. And then. Completely lost what I was doing. This thing, there we go. All right, so, oh, I didn't need to do that. Apparently I have a Tear of the Goddess. Oh, well, let's see. This is what happens when I don't plan ahead. Oh, that's right. I need a Diamond Vapor to get the, the evil. Okay, so Tear of the Goddess, I got one of those. We're going to need one of these. So it's Mandrake, Nether Wart here evil and then extremists all right okay let's see do we have it now we do okay now no okay so it's a cauldron recipe and it's probably going to take a chunk of power so mandrake wart tear evil and extremists it's swirling so that means we didn't waste it 
Um, seriously? Where did it go? Oh, that will, that'll suck. That takes a guess here. It started and then it flaked out. Hmm, which is distilling brews? No, this. I don't think it's distilling. This one. All right. Um, cauldron. Waystones, covens, dispel. Rituals, infernal red. Hmm, interesting. When a ritual fails, it will emit a puff of smoke. Okay. No. That's not it. Man, it's got to be one of these books. Oh, that sucks. All right, let me remake the materials real quick. Okay, let's see if we can fix this. This is pretty much what I get for not reading the uh, the um, book first and trying to go out of any eye to do it. An axe. Oh, eh, whatever works. Okay, so in apparently forever, we're going to break this. The problem is apparently this, well, this seems to be one of those rituals that um, requires altar power. So let's see we can't get this moving here so we'll put that there we will nope put the cauldron here let's make our broom which is just some sticks and three rowan sap or hawthorn saplings that gives us a broom the reason i wanted to make that is apparently it gets rid of the uh there it is the rune stones or the glyphs with uh, a lot faster now. It looked like the axe was going to do pretty good for us, but we'll just use this. And light like you. Uh, no, that this one. This one goes, man, you know that beating heart can kind of get annoying after a while. Oh yeah, there we go. So all we have to do is just click them. I'm just doing a straight left click and it just pops them right off the ground. It doesn't even cause durability on the broom, which is kind of cool. Okay, now why am I ripping all these down? Because the glyph arrangement is different. As you can see here. So it leaves a clear three by three around the, uh, around the, what the, what the words I'm looking for? Cauldron, there we go. So here, we're not gonna be able to see these very well, but at this point we just wanna get it done. Okay, and out one and it's five wide yeah can we oh, go figure all right we'll have to do something with that was it only one yeah it's only one okay so the glowstone glowstone's gonna have to get broken so we'll have to do something else for light sources down here temporarily so I think we're just going to do this. Hopefully that's enough with the fire. We're also going to need some stone, so I'll just grab some rock out of the wall. And there we go. Yeah, we almost got enough back. All right, so we need four. Let's just grab four chunks of cobblestone here. Technically, I guess we only needed three. Okay, so that should map this. All right, let's go clear our inventory up. Oh, apparently there's a storm somewhere. Um, we'll keep that. We'll put this back in here. Put our broom away. Put the glowstone in here. That chalk, that chalk. Um, book evil, that's it. There it is. Okay, so we got the refined evil. We're going to need several buckets of water, which is why we have this tank. All right, 
So we got one, two, three, and one for my inventory. All right, let's try this again. And I really hope it doesn't fail this time. Uh, I did some internet searching, and apparently this is the one thing that uh, that came up was this is supposed to be a ritual with altar power, as opposed to just a straight recipe. So we'll see if the internet is right. You know, it's obviously never steered anyone wrong before. So mandrake, no, Q, mandrake, another wart, tear of the goddess, refined evil, mutandus extremis. Seriously. What what did I do wrong this time? Hmm. The internet has lied. Or I did something else horribly wrong. See, I haven't been able to find the brewing recipe for that one. Because I don't think... I guess maybe it is under brew, so let's try that one. Okay, maybe it's an infusion. Webs, thorns, ink, sprouting, erosion, come on. Depths, infection. That sounds like fun. Sleeping, flowing spirit. Feeling. Okay, now see that one had an altar power on, so that requires Spirit. Redstone soup. Drop of luck, wool of bat. Okay, so that one definitely is one of these. But it does talk. Wait, flying ointment. The flying ointment is the same thing, takes 3,000. Happenstance. Infuse, no. Okay, did I go. Buy it. Redstone soup. Drop of luck. Did I actually go past it or? Yeah, because it says it's a recipe. The problem is it doesn't show the. Uh, the words, the um, power cost in the uh, the NEI. Hmm. Oh man, another. It turned green though. Why did it turn green? Hmm. All right, more research. All right, let's try this now. The one thing I've been reading is it said that. Like right now, it's it's not dead. Like I, I broke it up there because it had to be a ritual and I didn't have enough room. But it's still trying. It just apparently doesn't have enough power. So let's see if we can start replacing some of these. Because apparently the Infernal makes it cheaper as far as power. But there's a chance that um, I guess bad things will happen. I'm not exactly sure what the side effects will be, but uh, we're just going to start replacing them and see if eventually we get it to the point where it can function, or if I run out of chalk. I'm really hoping this will work, because I really don't want to use up another guest here for an experiment. Still got some chalk left. Unfortunately, since I wasn't able to find it in the book, I don't know how much altar power it requires. Because that would be a really nice thing to know. Alright, let's just pop off the last of the, uh, the standard white chalks here. Or white glyphs. Ooh, one more, come on. Okay. Whew. Hmm. Still not enough. Yeah, I mean, our, our power's not staying, it's not staying at 315, or 3915 like it should. So it's definitely getting used by something. 
I don't think there's anything else we can put on here. We need a redstone soup to fill the cup. And that won't work. I don't know if, a, if different types of skulls do different things. Let's see, it's not distilling. I mean, we looked in brews and infusions. Um, it's not in collecting fumes. Eh, it looks like we got two two distillings. Wait, oh, that was herbology. All right. Hmm. Let's just toss you over there. And let's put this thing back down so it fills back up. Alright, let's see here. Chalk. How do we make some more of this stuff? So white chalk with blaze and wart. So no. Nether wart. Blade. That's not blaze powder. Blaze powder and white chalk, and of course it's going to be. Yep. Saw that one coming. All right, so we need another altar. Not an altar. Another um, cauldron. So give me a minute, and I'll be back. Okay, let's try this here. Let's see if we can get some infernal chalk made. Something to work out of one of these things. Okay, so swirly. Swirly's good. It's still swirling, which is better than we had downstairs. It's really slow, though. There we go. All right, some more infernal chalk. Let's do one other thing real quick. I don't know if this is going to be a terrible idea or a good idea, but I want to try that little uh, wooden statuey guy out. But we're going to do it with this uh, Rod of the Seas, which is just one of our water runes from... This is all our Britannia stuff. So rune of water, living wood twig, and a bottle of water. Now with this thing we can use power to summon water. Now, what the, where the heck did... Oh, <laughs> I'm guessing this is one of those uh, bad side effects. Because that definitely was not a spider. I was seeing things, apparently. Do I have some type of... Finally cheese flavored Tweety Pie oh it's gotta be because I made the infernal chalk okay now the idea here is this little living wood avatar we're supposed to be able to give him a wand or a rod and he's supposed to you oh fizzle sticks I have no idea how you give it to him though he's supposed to be able to use some rods as a way to um automate something. So can we... Nope, that didn't do it either. Oh, look. Oh, instead of a cat this time, I have a dog. Oh, did I... Oh, this is going to get weird. Just in case. Yeah, okay, not really there. Where did my... Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, man. Something really is going to spawn in here. It's going to scare the ever-living daylights out of me. No? Alright. Well, I guess that's not going to work either. We're on a roll. Okay. Let's replace all these. See if we get horrible bad side effects or if we can get what we need. If this doesn't work, I'm so leaving this here until I figure it out. Ooh, ooh! Yes? That's what it was. The ritual didn't have enough power. Okay. Okay, the internet was right. Maybe a first time for everything. Okay, so now we have our drop of luck. What, were, what in the world were we doing before this whole mess started? No. Redstone soup. Okay, so now we need Belladonna, Mandrake, Mandrake, Belladonna. Okay, we have a dog, we have a, gimme, we have a bat. What else do we need? Is that it? Oh, it's a kettle. Oh, okay. And we need redstone. Okay. Let's just take a whole bunch of these. Now, I don't... 
that's where it went. <laughs> that's where it went. Oh, the piece of dirt went in here. And you put my fire out. Oh, this is just not going well. I mean, it's not going horrible, but it's not going well either. Let's try this again. Okay, now, can I fill you? Of course not, because, you know, that would be helpful. Can't do that. Nope. Mm -mm. Uh, gimme, 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 gimme. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do this the old-fashioned way, with a bucket and a bucket. Do we need just one? Okay, just one. Okay, so we should be able to... I don't know if there's an order to these things, so we'll just... Okay, good. That one in there, that, 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 and that. How do you know when it's done? don't know how to tell when it's finished. I mean, I'm guessing something will happen. I've never made anything with this little kettle before. With my luck, I'm ruining it and we're going to lose another piece. I mean, it's red. I guess I could... Oh, okay. It was done. All right, I was hoping we'd get two, but we only got one. But one is what we need. So now let's go flying. Okay, so we need that. Our speed potion. Did I pick? I didn't pick any of those up. But we got to get a feather anyway. So we should be okay. So feather. And potion of swiftness. What else do we need? Anything else from over here? A diamond. Because I used ours making a diamond vapor thing. Let's see. Now, we're also going to need bat, which was in here, which we do not have much of. Okay, now, this is a kettle recipe as well. Okay, so we've got the redstone soup, we got the swiftness, a diamond, no, wrong button, diamond, a feather, bat wool, and a belladonna. Bat wool. And Belladonna. Oh, I hope this works. You have to admit, we're not exactly having a fantastic track record. Let's grab that. Alright, here it goes. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, flying ointment, that worked. All right, now, no, oh, where is it? No, give me that back. Um, circle magic. Okay, it has to be done at night. We need a broom, an ointment, and a seven by seven and an eleven by eleven. It's night. We got our broom. We got our ointment. Let's go make our uh, eleven by eleven real quick ish. Oh, this chalk is totally not going to last, is it? And the sun's going to come up before I have a chance to finish it. Because these have to be fives. So, one out. Oh, nuts. And a five. Come on, almost. It's going to break. Just, oh, perfect. Okay, oh, of course the sun's coming up. All right, so we're going to wait until nightfall again. So I will be back as soon as the, uh, the sun goes down, which is a weird thing to say, but I'll be back when the sun goes down. And we watch as another glorious day ends with a sunset in Minecraft. And... Now let's go do some evil stuff. Well, I don't know if this counts as evil. I mean, technically, I think we do have some uh, demon glyphs up here. So, you know, maybe it counts as evil. 
it's so hard to tell, you know? All right, let's see. I'm leery to start it just yet. Okay, skeletons are spawning, so we'll try it now. Now, according to what the book says, we can give... Wow, that's... Hmm, okay. All right, now, in theory... Shall we see what happens? Huh. Oh, that's why the ritual of containment was still running. <gasps> Boom. Okay. That was really kind of anticlimactic. That explains how come the, the altar never reached its full capacity. It's because that ritual of containment was still running. Or whatever it was called. Okay, let's see. According to this, I should be able to place it. Right click on it and fly. Now it doesn't use the shift key and the uh, um, control keys to you know climb and dive. And oh my goodness, this thing turns slow. It's got a little bit of a turning radius on it. You have to look up and you kind of got to fly it like a weird airplane. Now oh, can we go? Can we go down? This will be very useful for uh, for scouting the world. Apparently, we got a mine shaft over there and over there. So right around here somewhere, there's a mine. There's where we get the skeleton spawner from. And you got anything else interesting out here? Zombies. Huh, wonder what that is. Maybe sand underground. Skeletal cats, that just doesn't seem fair. Creeper. Got a ravine. Now, if you hit shift, apparently you will come off of this thing, so um, try not to hit that button because it seems like a bad idea. Ooh. I wonder if these are new chunks. Server's got that what are you doing to me thing going right now. Lots of squid. Alright, now the real question. Okay, there's the. Yeah, there's that mine. There's the straw man. I may rebuild the quarry that we lost when the, uh, what are those? Huh, I wonder what those were. The quarry we lost when uh, the server freaked out from the uh, filler and use it to kind of rip an area out here to cut it down because I know there's essence berry bushes in this mod pack but I haven't seen any yet because I really haven't gone digging underground which is probably why. Okay, now Got to come in for a landing and slam into a tree. No, no, this way, this way, come on, this way. Let's, oh, holy smokes. Whoa, no oh, wall. Okay, all right, I can, hmm. can I go backwards? I cannot. It holds its momentum just a little bit. Can we stop? Come on, slow, slow, slow. Apparently when you get off this thing, it stays at the altitude that it was when you get off of it. Come on. Almost. Okay, fine. We'll just hit the wall. That'll make us stop. Yeah, see? Oh, no, it doesn't. Wow. Come on. All right, get off. Now, it says if I hit it like a minecart. Okay. So we have an enchanted broom. A flight. Okay, that changes things. I wonder if we can uh, place blocks on it. I'll have to do some experimenting and see. I also looked. You can't put the Rod of the Seas into this thing, which is kind of a bummer. I think you can put it in a dispenser, though, so I may go that route. I'm not exactly sure how, but I thought you could put it in something, so I'll have to try. So this little guy is not going to work here, which is... Oof, he almost went in the pot. A bit of a bummer, but we'll put him over here. Put him next to our little pet zombie skull here. There. Yeah, that should work. Well, I think that's where we're going to call it. We've got the uh, the broomstick now, which is which is actually really awesome. I've never made stuff like this in Witchery because I've never really done much in the mod. So everything is kind of new. And the biggest problem I've been finding so far is the fact that it's difficult to tell what book things are in. Like, I still couldn't actually find something that said, this is how you make redstone soup. Although, now that I think about it, maybe it's in the brewing book. Hmm. Yeah, probably. But, yeah, well, we got a broom. So, what we'll do is uh, next time, not sure what we're going to do next time. We'll have to take a look at what else is... Wait, do we have a quest for witchery? 
how the world bleeds, enhances, feels? No, that was Thomcraft. Grows, changes. Yeah, we gotta kill another demon. We can do getting a familiar. Maybe we'll do that next time. Uh, spectral familiar. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. We'll see what happens. But for now, thank you for watching. And you know, if you like the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you already are subscribed, or if you're not for that matter, and you have something you think we should give a shot, take a look at, you know, leave it in a comment. Let me know, and we'll see if there's someone we can kind of wiggle it in. It just has to be something I can you know latch my brain onto. Otherwise, it's work instead of fun, and nobody likes work. But, you know, if you know anybody you think would like to watch this video, shoot them a link. Maybe they'll like the video. Maybe they'll subscribe. And then everybody's happy. And we all like being happy. So, again, thank you for watching.